Hello internet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay, if you're new here, hello, welcome. Happy to have you. Today I'm going to be talking about what contributes to someone feeling misunderstood. Now we all feel misunderstood no matter what your type is at some point in life. However, I feel that certain types have a greater level of awareness as it relates to feeling misunderstood and I'm going to give you a little bit of my own theory on why this may or may not happen. Uh, if you'd like to book time with me in a session, I have that link below for Snug. You can do that there and let's get right into this video. All right, so here's the premise. The areas in which a person perceives misunderstanding is correlated to their introverted functions within their cognitive stack. Now, the amount of awareness that is attributed to this misunderstanding is often a result of the intuitive function placement within that same stack. You have two of those functions in your stack, so give it a little Google if you don't know already and figure out which introverted functions you have in your stack of four. All right, so I'm gonna do something I've never before done on my channel, which is read you something that is literally already exists somewhere. And that is a little excerpt from Carl Jung, because I really believe it reduces down what the introverted functions, how they actually work in reality, and this leads into everything. So here we go with a little excerpt reading. The introvert unquestionably exposes himself to this prejudice, for it cannot be denied that his definite and highly generalized mode of expression, which apparently excludes every other view from the outset, lends a certain countenance to this extroverted opinion. Furthermore, the very decisiveness and inflexibility of the subjective judgment, which is super-oriented to all the other objective data, is alone sufficient to create the impression of a strong egocentricity. The introvert usually lacks the right argument in presence of this prejudice, for he is just as unaware of the unconscious, though thoroughly sound presuppositions of his subjective judgment as he is of his subjective perception. In harmony with the style of the times, he looks without instead of behind his own consciousness for the answer. I just like how he burns the introverted functions and it's just like, and apparently just excludes every other viewpoint from the outset. And uh, all of us with the introverted functions are just like, well, hot damn, all right. <laughs> The introverted functions are coming from a subjective place within the self. Now that doesn't mean that they can't be objectively true. It just means their birth point origin within our own minds is referencing our own inner world versus pinging to the outside world in order to create whatever it is creating. And in order to help you understand a bit more of an articulated picture of what this means, I'm gonna give you a few little anecdotes I created of how these functions may be subjective as it relates to external stimuli. SI, introverted sensing. Why don't people realize this is the right way to organize and align reality? TI, introverted thinking. Why don't people see this is what makes the most sense? FI, why don't people see how hurtful they're being towards me? NI, why don't people see that all of this is related? And that's how these introverted functions are working. They're referencing the subjective self to form their conclusions of how things should or should not be. So no matter where the introverted function is within your stack, you are drawing some level of subjectivity from that area. Now, because that area is referenced for the self first and then will be expressed outward at some point to check, okay, well, what is everyone else thinking in regards to this? It is likely that when people's viewpoints in some area differ from yours in the world of your introverted functions, that you are going to perceive some level of misunderstanding because the way that they work within reality, within the external world is different from how you form these conclusions within your internal world. And for those of you who are invested in objective personality within your own mindscape, this may mean that those of you with sleep first are getting a double doozy of this level of, you know, perhaps misunderstanding from others because you are taking two introverted functions and using them as your dominant savior functions. All right, so let's reduce this on another level. What exactly is misunderstanding? Is it something you can put in your pocket? 
A lot of you may remember the video that I did on intuitive type words and language versus sensory type words and language and where that's painting to you within our own minds. So misunderstanding is not a literal thing. It is not something I can pick up, put in my pocket and take to work. Misunderstanding or understanding in general, it's a concept. So by its very nature, it is something that exists more on the intuitive spectrum than the literal sensory spectrum. So what does that mean, right? So what I see this as is people who have an intuitive function as a savior, um, either NE or NI, they are more comfortable with this concept and they are paying to it more likely than someone who has sensory as a dominant function. So does this mean if you have sensory as a savior, you never feel misunderstood? No, not at all. I mean, you could feel very misunderstood as it's relating to your TI or FI, if those are saviors within your stack. But if you had an intuitive function, either NE or NI, it is my kind of perception that you would have a greater degree of feeling comfort and your brain would be more likely to ping to the idea of misunderstanding or understanding because it is simply not a sensory type topic and it is not something that you are relating to in physical reality. All right, so how would this apply, right? Let's say you are an ENFP. You should feel some level of misunderstanding as it relates to your FI function, the things that you personally believe and value. If you're an INTP, you should have some level of misunderstanding as it relates to your personal reasons, the why you believe things, and all those other people over there, they believe something else, well, screw them. Like, they don't understand, you know, how I'm seeing this, right, through your own subjective reasons. All right, and reducing it a third level, understanding. In general, who is it most important to? Now, right, understanding is important to everyone, right? But what function is prioritizing in an unconscious state, understanding more than anything else? That is, that is the thing, right? It's not just intuition, right? It's not just like I'm comfortable using this concept. It's like, this is the most important thing. And I would say that that is introverted intuition, NI, the dominant function of INTJs and INFJs. Now, I myself, until I discovered typology, felt essentially misunderstood, you know, my entire life. I just thought that that's how brains worked. Like, I realized young that people didn't perceive things and they didn't come to things the same way that my brain did and that when I would try to explain things that people just did not get it. They just didn't understand how I was connecting things within my own life. And at a young age, I was like, I just, people don't understand that and that's okay. You know, I'll never, I'll never feel understood and that's just how life is. And I went through my entire life feeling that way until I discovered typology. And it's really nice to see people who come to my channel who are also INTJs, um, you know, some INFJs as well, who will say things like, I never felt as though I was understood by anyone until I saw your videos, until I, you know, heard your content. And I know exactly what that, that feels like on the inside within your inner world. And knowing that there's someone else out there like you is I think it means a lot to people. So it meant a lot to me. Anyway, NI and understanding, it is just, it's just what the NI brain is constantly trying to do because what is actually understanding, right? Understanding is taking all of these dots that exist and it's pulling them into one centralized concept, right? If you understand how leverage works, you could use that concept to then apply to instances of having to lift things of different weights in order to transport things by using weight and leverage. And so you could use that concept to then, you know, apply to a different situation, but it's the same thing. It is the same principles that are pulled together and you can layer over whatever the circumstance needs. And I is trying to constantly use understanding so that we don't have to take in new sensory details in order to do a thing. We're trying to avoid the SC. So we rather just use the NI understanding to get the thing done. So that just means that we're not trying to do this. We're not trying for our brains to be so aware of what understanding is. That's just how our brain processes information in its very innate natural state. And therefore, I think our level of awareness to understanding and misunderstanding is high compared to possibly other types. If everything is about understanding to you and you're connecting the dots and you're seeing that 
the world is not understanding you as an entity, as a human being, then you're going to be just very simply innately aware of that. Okay, so those are my three levels of contributing factors that I believe relate to misunderstanding. So again, that's the introverted functions. I feel everyone, no matter what your type is, feels some level of misunderstanding as it relates to your introverted functions because they are innately subjective to you and therefore you're not looking to the outside world to reference how those are created. Two, I believe intuitive dominant types, NE or NI, are more likely to dabble in the world of misunderstanding versus understanding have their brains go there more likely because it is not a sensory thing it's not something you can pick up it is a concept and therefore they are going to reference it more likely than someone who is sensory dominant and lastly i believe that anyone with an ni dominant function is highly likely to feel as though they're misunderstood because understanding the framework of understanding is their brain's natural state of priority and uh, when they can see that not occurring around them especially as it relates to the self they are highly aware of that. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next one. Till then, goodbye internet friends.